Hello guys, good morning, good morning. My name is Lacey. And my name is Harley. And we are Ambie, Ambie Lawn Care. <laughs> I feel like I stole your part. You normally say who we are. But guys, hello. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic today. You know, I wish you guys are always doing well. I'm always thinking about y'all. But today, we are out mowing. I'm so, I'm so happy about that because it's been cold the past like over the weekend guys it tried to go back to winter time again it went down back in the 30s but i think i think we're out of that now hopefully but i was gonna um update you on a few things since we've seen each other last the first one right here being that harley got the fuel tank back on the truck this is gonna be much better harley used it I earlier pulled the mower right up to it unhooked it Filled it up, put it back on. You should film up. that, you know. But we'll, there'll be, hopefully there'll be plenty of footage of stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, so that's super awesome. Which we'd only used it one time, just on the last yard, so. Yeah, yeah, that was, it's been on the truck for a few days. But, uh, today is the first day that we've actually used it. So that's awesome. So it works, it's good to go. And we are back, which you can't really see the house that good from over here where we're parked. But uh, this is one of our yards from last year. If you guys been following along, you might remember it, which we didn't tell you guys last year. But we figured we might tell you guys this year. Um, that house there actually used to be where Harley and I and Adam used to live, our son. And that was our first house together. So that is actually how we got this yard. Uh, it was actually her kids that used to live there and uh, they kind of switched houses it was like a cool deal that they did they uh she had she had more property and stuff and they had young kids so uh and this is like a smaller property and easier maintenance and stuff so they uh, actually switched houses a couple years ago and the kids moved to her house with the land and then she moved here and then we uh picked up mowing for her because the kids used to mow themselves but uh but we took over the yard when she moved in, so that was super awesome. And I was also gonna talk a little bit about that too, cause it's kind of, you know, this is one of the situations that has arose for us. And this might be a situation some of you guys might encounter if you're in lawn care or really, I guess, you know, it could be other Any types of service, jobs too. Yeah. But uh, since we were neighbors, we lived right there. We literally just drove the mower straight across the yard. We quoted this yard very, very low. Um, and honestly, at the time, we weren't doing lawn care full-time. It was just kind of like a hobby thing, you know, that we did for a few yards, you know, to make extra money and stuff. And uh, so we quoted it too low even because of that, too, because we didn't know really how to properly quote yards anyway. Uh, and so this was going to be one of the yards that we were potentially going to have to let go of this year. And we really felt super bad about it but we talked to the owner and we come up with a, a great solution you know you know unfortunately the yard the did have to go, go up, up but uh it we we made a good plan because uh last year we were mowing it every week so this year it's actually going to work out better for our schedule to go to a bi-weekly schedule which we were on before so we've done this before <laughs> like it's a whole long story with this yard guys but uh but so we're going to a bi-weekly schedule the and increased rate yeah so the price for her monthly hasn't went up that much but per mo it has went up um because we always this is one of the fastest growing yards as well to her front yard i'm not exactly sure what type of grass it is but it's very extremely fast growing and it's a very thick type of grass so uh we always have to mow over it at least twice for it to look any kind of good guys you know that's just uh just the way it is so now that's going to make up for the extra time fuel you know hours on the mower everything like that so uh at the end of the day we're all going to be happy yep. so uh yeah that's something guys that you might you know take into consideration when you are quoting yards and stuff like that you know if you move away you know farther away from the yard or anything like that happens you might have to talk to the customer you might have to increase your price guys because you don't want to be coming out of your own pocket to mow these yards um and that's not because we want to be mean to the customer or anything but that's just the way business works guys you know if you're not making profit you're not a business um you're pretty much just a volunteer so uh so yeah but uh with all that being said we need to get going so come on I'm sorry, I hit you. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's go, go mo. Down.
guys, I've done it again. I rode around this whole time mowing with this thing strapped so tight on my head, you can literally see. <laughs> and I thought I was recording. Oh, I thought I was doing so good because I was like, okay, I'm gonna like, every, you know, every so often I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna do a little clip and then I'm just gonna, you know, go on. So I was hitting this side button thinking, cause the power button is here, okay? You can turn it on and off. But if you wanna like turn it on, start instantly recording, it's this button. You can turn it on and it can be off. You can hit this, it'll turn itself on, start recording, and then you can turn it, hit it again, and it'll turn itself off. And then the power button, you know, has all the different modes and stuff. So when I, I got them confused and I thought, I was like, I was hitting that side button. So I was just changing the modes over and over again. Didn't record anything, you know. So, ah, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put it back on. I'm gonna get the weed eater and I'm gonna try it again. So, uh, which thankfully I got the time lapse from my phone of mowing this so you can actually see. But I thought I had got some really cool clips and I always hate when I do that guys, because it's like, you know, once it's done, you know, it's over, you can't redo something like that. Like I can't put the grass back and go back and do it again. So it's kind of like it's a one and done, you know, if you don't get it the first time, you gotta wait two more weeks. So, uh, Ah, it is what it is, guys. It's just one of those things, you know, being a, you know, I'm pretty good at lawn care, but I'm still new at YouTubing, so please bear with me, guys. Bear with me. But, ah, <laughs> I guess I can tell you really quick since I'm walking back up here to get my weed eater that uh, the last time we talked, um, we were telling you that we were trying to get all of our yards on a schedule. So we have, at this point now, uh, got everything. All of our yards are in a good rotation. We actually were only, we only had to let go of one yard. So, but yeah, and we've been able to get the trailer in because there was a yard that I talked about that I said we would not be able to bring this trailer. Harley did it guys, you know, he did it. He, uh, it was very like, I was, <coughs> I was, uh, I was a little nerve wrecked. I ain't gonna lie. But when, uh, you know, he just, he was like, I think I can do it, you know, and I'm gonna try it, you know, and he did it. And he is a fantastic driver and, um, you know, trailer puller and then backer. <laughs> like he can uh he can back a trailer literally into anywhere. Yeah. Alright, so guys, come on, let's finish this yard.
Okay guys, we just finished up. It's uh, it's mm -hmm. raining on us out there right now. But that's okay, It's there wasn't rain in the forecast, so I feel like it's just gonna shower for a little while. It did that this morning as well. This type of, time of year, you could probably expect a, a slight shower every day. <laughs> yeah, here or there. Which I'm thankful because the plants really need it. And uh, by the time it gets in towards summertime, it's so hot and sometimes it gets super dry. So we're thankful for any rain. But yeah, Harley, I was telling them earlier, I thought I was filming the whole time I was mowing because I was, I was like, I'm gonna hit the button, turn it off, but I was hitting the wrong button. Oh. I was hitting the side button. <laughs> so I was just changing button. the mode the whole time. I was flipping back and forth between time lapse, photo, video, but I never recorded anything. Well, I got a few clips <laughs> for you, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. Yeah, so we're Harley for the win on that. I'm sorry, guys, but I think I did get some when I was weed eating, so. I think we can make up for it. Uh, but we already, we mowed one yard already. We didn't film that earlier because, well, I guess now we've mowed two yards already. But uh, it's one that you've already seen this year so far. So we uh, just kind of knocked that out really quick. And then we have one more yard that we're gonna do after this. And we are going into the mountains, guys. I'm telling you, we're going so far up in the mountains, service don't exist. <laughs> Cell phone towers, no one has any. Internet, what is that? Don't even know. <laughs> but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of property. Yep, yep. And uh, we only mow that one. That is one exception. They are the only ones that we give an exception to um, because we only mow that property pretty much once a month. And uh, there's it's just an empty property. If you've been here, you know. But, uh, but yeah, mostly uh, on all of our other yards, we will only do a two week uh, length in between. But or a weekly. Yeah weekly or bi-weekly but they are our, our, our one and our only exception so uh so yeah so uh let's uh we'll try to ride this rain out we'll get on down the road might get us something to eat do something or whatever and we'll pick back up with you guys when we get back to the next yard um but until then guys come on let's, let's ride. ride oh yeah I'm Tell you what guys nobody and i mean nobody is getting past these cones <laughs> it's a little tiny look gopro for comparison <laughs> i'm telling you guys these are some bad boys right here they will stop them in their tracks Harley was able to back in the trailer, no problem. Which we couldn't remember because we didn't think it was like a going to be hard place to back this trailer in. But uh, once we got here and saw it again, we're like, ah, it's not, it's not that bad at all. So this is, this will be pretty much, yeah. This is like finally all of our yards we've had the trailer at now. So that's really good because we thought we were going to have to use the open trailer for a couple of our yards, but. That is really, really super great because it was like, because we, after we thought about, um, you know, that situation, you know, having to unload and load the stuff again, you know, for another yard, uh, we were thinking that might be something that we would end up eventually maybe having to drop a yard for because it really is an inconvenience. Like, like we did, like, because I know that we were doing that forever, but now that we've got everything just in here, it really was going to be 
out of the way to have to, you know, unload everything and put it on the other trailer just for a couple of yards. So we're very thankful. Yeah, it's I was out. telling him earlier how great you did oh, <laughs> back in in over there at the cottage and stuff. So like this is all of our yards now, like yeah, with the trailer. Out. So yeah. we're good to go on that. But yeah, this is the yard. It's just a uh, just an empty property that uh, hopefully one day property. is going to be a homestead. But right now, you know, it's just it's just sitting out here being beautiful by itself. But and I hate to have to mow these down because guys, look at how cute they are. They're adorable. And then this, uh, like this. It's like a green. Yeah, it's like a yeah. green, like kind of like a wheat looking thing. And it's real velvety and soft. If anybody knows exactly what that is, let us know. It's very beautiful. It has like a pink color to it. It's very, very beautiful. It's gorgeous. I feel bad to have to mow it down, <laughs> but... Uh, it's just one of those things that but this will be the first mow of the year for this yard and it was the first mow of the year for the the other yard before that you've seen but the first yard that we did uh this morning as i told you guys earlier that was not the first mow we've actually mowed that one a few times so we just kind of knocked it out and started the video as some new stuff but the property next to here is gorgeous too. There's a beautiful pond and there are There's fish in there fish too. In there, yeah. I've tried to get some footage of them before, but it's like they know when you get the camera out because they they go away. <laughs> but there's a, there's a beautiful, like, it's like a dry creek right here. Like if there's ever like a lot of rain, well actually no, it's not dry right now. Look at it. It's got water in it now, but, but yeah, this is so, so pretty i've seen several snakes down through here in this piece when i'm weed eating it scared me pretty good <laughs> a couple of times but uh but yeah it's not it's not too bad this plat area up on the top which would uh be where they would hopefully one day like to build their house so that would be a really really nice beautiful spot for it and they have a gorgeous gorgeous yard and view and stuff so oh and fun fact too, if nobody knows which I'm sure a lot of you do, but that's the tree right there that we wrecked the drone into. <laughs> that was like the first time that we had flew the drone, like the first video we ever used it in. And But thankfully, Harley climbed it and he shook it out. And I caught it in a towel and it was okay. And we've been very, very cautious with it ever since. Yeah, Harley got banned. His, he lost his license. <laughs> I'm just messing. I don't I'm like just... to fly it anymore. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so all right. It, it rained on us a good bit earlier. What? We're going to pull your motor around now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. But it's uh, cleared up on us now, but it's still sprinkling a little bit. You can, I don't know if you can see it on the pond. But, but yeah, let's put some gas in the mower, and then, uh, and then we'll knock this last yard out. It looks like it's over half. Also, I I'm at 551 hours. I need to change my oil and clean my air filter. One hour overdue. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. That makes it much easier and it pumps. How much does it pump? 20 gallons a minute. Yeah. Another good thing that <laughs> um, that Harley reminded me of earlier too is not only, uh, you know, just the convenience of not having to carry the gas jug in and out, but also the amount of fuel too, yeah, or to gas that we can carry. Just five gallons at a time. Which I know you can always just get another jug, but... We already had this, so we <laughs> yeah. it was a good use. Yeah, and it, it, it wasn't cheap either. Well, we got like $1,000 in that yeah. setup right there, so we might as well make good use of it. And I, actually, I feel like this is what it was truly, honestly. It was, this is what it was meant to do. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, but yeah, you've seen on my mower too. It's time I have to change my oil and change my air filter. And I'm sure, read your manual, guys. You know, like every mower is different. Just make sure for your personal mower. But for Cup Cadet, I do know every 50 hours you change your oil. Every 25 hours you clean your air filter. And then every 50 hours you change your air, air filter. Yep. So proper maintenance, guys, is going to get you the most lifetime out of your machine. If you take care of your machine, it will take care of you, guys. So always, 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 especially like it's one of the easiest things that you can do, you know, changing oh, yeah. the oil and stuff. And it really, really does matter. So, uh, so yeah, guys, keep up the maintenance on your mowers. <laughs> All right, guys, come on. Let's, Let's go, go mow. mow.
guys. We just finished up. Look what Harley found. <laughs> Unfortunately, he found it because he hit it with the mower. But it's the second time I found one while mowing, guys. And I found one last year and one this year. So. The other one Pretty was cool. at um, the Gym. Airbnb, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> the, the bowl. That's pretty cool, guys. Yeah. Put some super glue That's really that. neat. That's a big one. The other one was small. It was intact fully, but it was about like this size. Yeah, it was very small. It's yeah, just we like still have it. But uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Have you all ever found an antler shed while you're mowing? Yeah, or what's the weirdest thing you've ever found while mowing? <laughs> that could be... There's no talent. Yeah, because unfortunately we found some pretty weird things on some yards. But that is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's really neat. I love uh, collecting stuff like that. Our uh, house is themed very uh, outdoorsy and like wildlife and stuff like that. So, all right, guys. Yeah, but before we wrap it up, we figured that we might talk a little bit about, um, you know, some of the pricing aspects of it because we have been getting some questions. We've actually gotten a few emails and stuff asking about it and stuff. So, uh, and this is, uh, you know, we want this to be, you know, like as educational as possible for people that may be wanting to start up uh, a mowing service. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so we don't mind sharing some information like about how we do things. So, uh, like in the beginning, we were pricing things horribly, oh, no, <laughs> pricing things way too low every single job. We were really ended up a lot of uh, jobs coming out of our own pocket on. But you live and you learn. So after a few years, we decided, or actually I think somebody told us, set a minimum. Yep. So that really helped us. We set a $50 minimum that year. And that really helped us like in the beginning, yeah. even yeah. starting off to, you know, the conversations about the money with people. Because that always, like, we don't mind talking about the jobs. But when it comes to talking about the money, we would get very, like, shy and like you know kind of nervous you know uh so but we tried to save everybody we tried to give everybody the best deal possible yeah. and a lot of times ended up not pricing it to where we could make any money at all let alone even thinking about profit so. yeah we were thinking about t being too fair for the customer and we were not being fair on ourselves but uh so yeah so for a couple of years we had a 50 dollars minimum but over the last uh this year we actually decided that we were going to raise the minimum um which we had done been pricing yards it. differently anyway we don't really have hardly any i think we only have one fifty dollar yard at this point and we did bump our minimum up this year to 75 which we're really not prospecting yards <laughs> like this at is this something point, we haven't really yeah. talked about because we have a very full schedule like we're not prospecting yards we're very being very i hate to say it but very picky with yards that we take on and stuff because we have a very full schedule and we are um Right you now, know. it's just the two of us, so we really, yeah. like you said, we've got our schedule full. We don't want to work ourselves too much more because we want to um, be able to spend as much time together right now and enjoy life and just spend family time, important yeah. time. We're not trying to make a million dollars. Like, yeah, we're, we're not, not trying, trying to, to be a um, worldwide company. To, uh, we're just trying to, ourselves. yeah, we want to pay our bills and be able to do things that we'd like to do. You know, if we want to go somewhere, we want to be able to feel comfortable to go. If we want to do, you know, whatever, you know, just whatever. We want to be able to you know, pro, uh, financially provide, um, you know, for our family and have security. But, um, that being said, yeah, we bumped our 70, uh, we bumped our minimum up to 75 this year. Um, and <clears throat> honestly, there's not very many yards that we have at 75. Like most of our yards are either a hundred dollars or more. And, you know, we try like guys, if you've been following along, we really do. We try to make, we want people to get every bit of their money's worth yes, of definitely. what they're spending on their yard we uh we care about every single yard we take our time uh, most yards we do go over twice you know unless it's just a yard you know that is you know hardly grows you know but if it needs it we go over it twice we take our time you know with everything we do and we treat every yard with uh, as much respect as possible like better than it was our own yard yeah because guys we really enjoy doing this i mean this is what we enjoy most we love our job, we love to do this together, and we want our customers to be able to enjoy the luxury service of having their lawn and property taken care of them, taken care of for them, and them not have to do it themselves. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so be very careful when you're pricing your yard, you know, you want everyone to be, 
satisfied. You want yourself to be satisfied. You don't, because you don't want to be on a yard like we've done this too many times where we priced it too low and then we get frustrated throughout the year on the yard. We end up, we, you know, we're having resentment towards the yard. And, you know, like I hate to say that, but, you know, sometimes it is true. And you don't want that to happen. I know in the beginning, when you're first starting out, you're new, you're trying to pick up yards, you might have to do some cheaper yards just to build a name for yourself and get out there. You know, in the yeah. very beginning, you can't expect to be a newbie coming out and just get all the commercial yards at all the best prices. Like, you have to earn that price increase that yeah. you're given. You know, with experience, you add onto your prices. If you don't have that experience yet, don't go out there and quote the yards at that don't price. Don't price yourself out of business. Yeah. yeah. So, if you're charging $100, you better be, they, when they look at that yard after, they better be like, wow, yeah, that was worth every bit of $100. Yeah, that's the reaction we want out of our customers. We want them to feel like they got their money's worth and uh lord willing that's what we provide all of our customers seem to be very, very satisfied okay guys like and we're not going to go like there are some yards that we definitely we're not going to talk about the pricing of and stuff like that especially our commercial properties Just out of respect yeah for the business and we're not trying to be disrespectful like oh we don't care what these customers think but we we're not trying to invade anybody's privacy like um we're not saying any names or anything like that i mean if you guys know us you might know but like it's not no big deal um but like we just kind of want you to know an idea of kind of what you could possibly make you know and it, this was a very short day of lawn care we spent like this wasn't even half a day what time i don't even know what time it is now but 3 30 okay and we started we didn't we got a pretty late start we didn't even get started till probably i'd say 10 30 we started probably the first yard and you know we take our time and yeah, that's one of the reasons why we love this, because we build our own schedule and we do it how we like. We don't want to have to rush and be feel like pressure to do anything. So we, we like to be able to take our time on the yards if we need to. Sometimes if we're in a hurry, we have to do it good but quick. But, uh, but yeah, we mowed three yards today. I'd say, what, all in all, we probably maybe have five hours, if that, in cool. actual labor. And that's... Uh, and drive time you know that's all around everything the first two yards were 75 dollars each this last yard is 120 dollars and so do the math harley what is that that's 75 75 150 and 250 120. and then 270 okay <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong i am i did do bad math the other day when i was talking to a customer it was very embarrassing but uh what okay so what was that it's 270 for three yards and it's five hours yeah so and Pretty like good. we could have definitely mowed more yards we definitely had more time but that's all that we wanted to do today you know uh, and we could have done more jobs today but you know like and there's other days that will make more than that a good bit more than that you know so but like most days like honestly you probably don't want to have a rig like this and take a bunch of equipment out you know if you're probably not going to make more than at least a couple of hundred dollars you know a yeah. day because it it is going to cost you fuel time everything you know and you want to make sure you're paying yourself at the end of the day and that it's worth your time so you're looking at like 270 dollars five hours time that's from the time we left the house including all drive time mo time camera time and stopping to eat lunch yeah it's and like good. and it does take us like guys you see as we're on here we're talking to you 10 minutes now like <laughs> and there's all kind of stuff like we'll film a clip that was in a time lapse or and like have to redo like so like there's a lot of, honestly we're probably on the yard longer <laughs> filming than we even are mowing that is uh, the case in some points yeah because there's a lot of yards like and, and we're doing things different too with the filming this year we're not filming every single thing that we do and i feel like i like the way it's going it helps me to uh, be more organized and not feel so pressured <laughs> to build the videos a lot more proficient and productive than having just a bunch of really long videos you have to take several little clips out of you yeah know, several clips you just pick and choose from and we've been kind of like doing you know like there have been yards we've mowed that you haven't seen you know because like we're trying to not give you everything at once so you get burnt out on us on the first month of mowing you know because we only have like i said we had 19 yards we um we dropped one so what we have 18 yards and which i could be wrong on that we could still because there were some yards that i had forgot about guys we got around 20 <laughs> yards we yeah know that. so uh <laughs> you know so that's not that many and we do cycle through them um over and over again as you know if you do lawn care so we don't want you to just see everything at once and be like ah, i've seen it all you know so we're doing things a little bit different 
and I hope you guys like that and enjoy that. And if there's any questions that you guys have, I want to try to talk more about the business and stuff like that because I know a lot of that's what a lot of you guys are here for. And I know a lot of you guys are here just because you like us and we love y'all too. So we want to just keep you entertained and let you know how our life is going. And we still want you guys to continue telling us how you guys' lives are going because we love each and every one of y'all. We love all your comments, whether it's mom related, whether it's family related, just regular life literally whatever drop it in the comments if you need someone to talk to <laughs> we are your people <laughs> yeah so guys okay i guess i'm gonna wrap it up here so if you like this video oh that's <laughs> harley drops our antler if you like it please give it a thumbs up please go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you're not guys and please share this video share it with all your friends on all your social media but yeah so i cannot wait to do it again so until, until next time, time. See ya.